I'm Sir Chanchin Chow, Sam Turnjo here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Royale Wonderlock. In the last episode, we made it right here to this city. What is the name of this city? Because I'm gonna otherwise I'm gonna butcher it if I don't find out what its name is. So this is Route 2. This is Terra Town. We made it all the way to Terra Town. And we've got a decent, we've got a decent team. We also took on the trainer school and dealt with the trouble at the beach with Kinglets. Uh, well, with the crab Pokemon. We got a decent team, but we're in a little bit of trouble because our Pokemon aren't exactly listening to us right now. So this is going to be interesting. Today we are taking on the gym. Uh, I did get everyone up to level 15. Which is the level of the gym leader's highest Pokemon. So it did take a while because Pokemon do not want to listen to me right now. And the more I level them up, the more they don't want to listen to me. So let's take a look at my Pokemon. The reason why I've leveled them up to this high is because A, we don't here have the best team going into here. It's a ground type gym. Growlithe is going to get destroyed. Um, if they know a rock type move, uh, these two are going to get destroyed. Uh, really, Meowth is my best play, but also one of the most frail Pokemon we have on the team. Because it's just, you know, it's a lower than Meowth. It's not the best. So, yeah, we're, we're in a little bit of trouble. If this was a normal LP, I would have already, you know, in my normal LP of Pokemon Royal version, I picked up the Krabby. Uh, well, the Kingler, actually. I picked up the Kingler, and I had the Slowpoke on my team, too. So, I had ways around the fact that this is going to be a ground-type gym, and uh, was able to be uh, was able to beat it pretty, uh, pretty well, actually. But I have no counters for it in this game, and none of my Pokemon listen to me. So, I think it's fair that I'm level 15, possibly level 16 or 17, by the time we get into the, elite, uh, the gym leader fight. Anyway, let's take a look at the team. We start off with Yamega, our Book Dragon type, level 15, bashful nature with speed boost through ability, foresight, quick attack, sonic boom, which it learned from leveling up, and twister as well. So there you go, that is Yamega. Then we have Talo, level 15 with wing attack, focus energy, uh, peck, and quick attack. It learned wing attack whilst leveling up, so I'm very, very happy about that. That should do some rather nice damage, I think. Then we have Growlithe, uh, level 15 with Bite, Roar, Ember, and Leer. Nothing new learns, but that's okay. Growlithe should be rather good. Then we have Meowth, uh, level 15, learnt Scratch, uh, so it has Scratch, Bite, and Fake Out, and it's learnt Fury Swipes so whilst grinding. I got no Growl for that. Uh, so. Pretty good moves. Uh, we have a chance at this, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. I might see if I can give the lefties to some... Who has the most defense? Like, who has the most to gain from having this? You have 53 HP and 31 defense. You have six... You have 41 HP and 16 defense. You have 41 HP and uh, you have 41 HP and 22 defense. You have 37 HP and 16 defense. I think it goes best. I think it goes. I think it goes best on Yamega. It has the most HP and the best defense. So, I'm going to give this to Yamega. I don't have any berries. Um, I have 11 potions. That might be enough to cover me. I have hidden power and return. Can anyone learn hidden power? Would that help? Everyone can learn hidden power. I don't know what anyone's hidden power is going to be. That is a question that might 
be worth playing around with just in case I get some decent hidden powers. So... I'm gonna re... I'm gonna get a quick attack. And hope that I get a decent hidden power on Yamega. And I'll try... I'll try Growlithe as well with hidden power. I'm gonna get rid of Raw for that. Alright, so that's basically all I can do. Can I buy super potions? Are super potions available in the Mart? No. Alright. So we're gonna have to do this on just potions. Do I have enough? I do have enough to buy more potions if I want to. I have 11. Can I make it? Can I make it an even 20? There you go. Even 20. A that should do me. Let's start the timer. All right. So now you're now is now is the time for action. Congratulations for passing the test. Good luck on the gym. This is the Cutmaster's house, if I remember correctly. Welcome, this is the Miner's Hut. Make yourself at home. Miner's Hut, okay. Well, hello there, this is the Miner's Hut. Make yourself at home. Oh, can I help you? You want to get past the rocks on Route 3? Well, a pickaxe should do you just fine for that. We have some, uh, um, but we don't... We don't go handing them out. Oh. You're not going to hand me one of those. Alright, fine. I guess I'll have to get one of those later. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Ooh. Hello? What is this about? You have a very strange head mage in your gym. I love plants. Uh, bet you didn't know that. <laughs> uh, take uh, this uh, to grow your own plants. A miracle seed. Thank you. If I had a grass type that would be or grass type moose, that would be awesome. I'd have something that maybe uh, give me an advantage in the upcoming gym. But sadly, I do not have grass type moose uh, or a grass type Pokemon just yet. So, yeah, I'm... You have a Cubone and you want to trade it for a Ralts. I don't have a Cubone, so I can't help you there, mate. I'm trying to see if I can find anything that will give me some kind of big advantage going into this gym. I need to study uh, type effectiveness to... It can be the difference between winning and losing a battle. You're telling me? My daughter is studying so she can get into a good college. Good for you. But I am just someone who is going to be trying to wonderlock my way through this game and see if it's enough. You're the name rater. Oh, can I name? Wait. Oh, I can't name traded. I can't nickname traded Pokemon. Oh, damn. I thought I might be able to nickname traded Pokemon. Judging. I like to judge the potential of interesting, uh, of intrigue. Uh, if you like, I can judge the potential of your Pokemon. Okay. Judge the potential of my Yamega. I see, I see. This Pokemon has pretty decent potential overall. That is my definition. Incidentally, it's, I would say, its best potential lies in its uh, special defense stat. It's very good in that regard. That is how I judge it. Okay. What about Meowth? 
He's decent overall, but he has a good attack. Rowef? Pretty decent overall, but he, it, his best is in his speed. Decent overall, that is minus. But its HP is its best. Okay, so maybe I should give Taylor the. Uh, Maybe you get Taylor its lefty, uh, the lefties when it evolves finally, because like when it evolves, that'll be amazing. But for right now, not so much. Thank you for the blue apricorn. You think there was an item back here, but sadly there is not. All right, so that's pretty much everything. Let's go and take on the gym. All right, here we go. Yay, hey there, champ in the making. Wait, you're the princess. What an honor, the contest has truly begun. Your brother came through here early at, uh, and got his first batch. Not seen your sister though. Anyways, as uh, this is your first gym, I'll quickly explain. You need to work through whatever puzzle is before you and make your way to the gym leader. You'll have a chance to battle uh, him or her for a gym match. Simple, right? I'll give you this before you start. Fresh water. Thank you. Now, I'll warn you. Uh, this gym's speciality is the ground type, and Doug, our gym leader, is no pushover. You'll need ev use everything in your power and everything you've learned so far to beat him. Good luck. All right, let's do this. I'm a little scared of Doug because um, my Pokemon don't listen to me. So this is going to be interesting. Hiker David with a Numal. Uh... You start with you start with something that I can't actually deal with. Magnitude four. Okay, that's fine. Fake out. Got the flinch. Nice. Bite. Got the flinch again. Nice. Good work, me Alf. Trap inch. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and use the Omega here. And see what my hidden power is. My hand, my hidden power is not anything to do with anything that weakens uh, ground type move super effective on ground type move sadly but it did do decent damage to trap inch so i'll take it i will very much take that Let's battle you. Okay, Ruin Maniac Allen has a Fanfy. Twister. Did decent damage. Defense curl. That's annoying, but I can handle it. Speed boost is a thing. Um, turned away. Damn. Come on, Yamega, you can do it. You can listen to me. Just listen to me for one. Uh, just listen to me, and then we can get through this battle together as a team. There we go. Hidden power takes down the uh, Fanfy, and we get level 16 from that. Nice. Good work. Sandakona. Um, I'm going to go into Growlithe and see if Growlithe can do this. Against the gym leader, it probably won't have this power because Growl, I'm pretty sure the gym leader is going to have something that deals with me. Ooh! 
My hidden power on Growlithe is super effective on ground types. He's probably going to have Bulldoze though. So, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth that play. Even though I possibly might have an advantage. Which I don't know if it's worth the play. I mean, you are bulldoze. Two, so that's annoying. I was thinking like the gym leader would have bulldoze because, you know, that would be my, you know, that would be the TM he's giving. So, you know, he would have learnt it, you know, through that. But uh, it's not the case because this Mudbray has Bulldoze. But I think Bull I think Mudbray can actually learn Bulldoze by level up anyway. So that's not actually, you know, that's not actually that bad. I'm going to go into Taylor here and see if Taylor can do some work. Oh wait, this is a rock type. Uh, this is a horrible match for you, Taylor, then. Do you want to try me, Alf? Oh, crit. And I flinched him. Tail whip. Okay, I've got... I'm going to bite him. There we go. All right, so that did do work. Uh, we did we were able to beat uh, up all the trainers, which means, in other words, we are on to the gym leader. I'm going to heal before we actually take on the gym leader and see if we can actually do this. If we lose, I'm telling you this now, I will be... I will reset. So, you know, we've gone three episode. This is episode three. So, yeah. Uh, this is not enough to make a series. So, we will reset. We will continue to... Uh, we will start again from the beginning if we lose. Yeah, we have not gone far enough for us to call it a loss or... Or, uh, and just turn it into a regular let's play and we've definitely not gone far enough for it to say like I don't even know what my next series is going to be yet so I can't even jump I can't even say I'm going to jump to the next series because you know I it's not brilliant down in Shining Pearl I'll tell you that for free because uh, Sleep Lock coming up uh, very very soon for that uh, November 20th is the date for that Sleep Lock we were starting at 11am in the morning uh, bright and early and we will be going until the game is done so it's gonna be a rather fun that's gonna be a rather fun day and a bit uh, live on the channel I'm not gonna leave a link down in the description because I have not actually set the uh, stream yet but um, I will be setting the stream in a, soon enough and I will be add you know I will be plugging the hell out of that as we come closer and closer to that date I think my next LP is Legends Arceus actually there might be some a little thing in between, but I don't know what that might be. I don't even know if I'll have time for that little thing in between. But mostly, my next main LP is Legends Arceus. That's all been sorted. I'm uh, I've asked Fiery some for some layout uh, for a layout for that. Last time I'm probably going to be able to ever be able to do that though, because his prices are getting quite up there these days. I didn't realise how much uh, they were getting uh, until I asked him. So. Yeah, I mean, I was going... I'd made my decision that I was going to do it anyway, but, like, I think this might be the last time me and Fiery worked together on a layout. So I need to start say I need to... Um, I start to worry about my money situations. So, I'm thinking we'll just from now on, every LP, I'm doing the layout. I'm doing all of the GFX from now on. By myself. So that way it stays free for, for the rest of my channel. Hey, if it isn't Princess Joanne. I was wondering when you were going to show up. 
uh, from the moment your brother defeated me. Just because uh, he beat me doesn't mean you will. All right, let's do this. Doug. Doug starts with a sand dial. Sand dial lowers my... Uh, Sandow lowers my uh, defense. Uh, lowers my attack. Okay, that did decent damage. The bite does uh, a little bit of damage, but I'm fine. Potion, kind of annoying, but I'm okay with that. Sonic boom. That puts you back in the red, which is great for me. And also, make sure I know that you've wasted one of your potions. If you have more, that's going to be annoying. But we'll see. Okay, Sand Slash coming in now. This is your Ace, I believe? Ooh, can I do this? No, no, I can't do this. I can't I can't bring it. Just because I have yeah, this is your ace. Just because I have a super effective move doesn't mean I should be doing it. Just in case. My defense is foul, which is awful when it comes down to it, but I'm okay for this moment in time. Oh, if I can get one more hidden power off, that should be enough to kill? Yes, it is! Alright, cool. Yeah, Meg wants to learn Detect. Nope, I don't need to worry about that. And a Gligger. Uh, You know what? I'm going to go to Scrowlef here. Hidden power. Bulldoze! Oh. Does decent amount of damage, but I can't stay in on that. He's going to do it again. Good work uh, switching into Taylor. Wing attack? Harden. Ugh. I'm doing damage, but... You know, without those Hardens, that's going to be annoying. One more wing attack, please. Quick attack. Thank you, Taylor. There we go. We beat Doug. Very good. That was a great battle. You earned this. We got the dirt badge. This will help you too. TM78 for Bulldoze. It contains the move Bulldoze. It deals uh, damage to your opponents and slows them down. Congratulations on your first badge. I'd recommend heading to Route 3. It's east of this town. Watch out for the rocks though. Blocking your path. If you want... Uh, help getting past them. My brother might be able to help. He lives in a house next to here. I'm sure he'll be happy to help. Alright. Well, he wasn't able to ha help before, but maybe now he'll be nice enough to give me one of his pickaxes? Hey, mate, would you mind giving me a pickaxe now? Yeah, I want to get past the rocks on Route 3. Uh, we have some, but uh, we don't go handing them out. Wait, that's a dirt badge! So you beat my little brother. Impressive. Well, that's no easy feat. Uh, he's uh, one running. He's the one running the gym. For, he's the one running the gym for a reason. Well, uh, if you're not worthy of a pickaxe, then I don't know who is. Take it. Just walk up to a small rock and use the pickaxe, and it's gone. That's easy. It's that easy. Alright. 
We got our pickaxe, so we can continue on. I'm going to go and heal before we continue on, though, because just in case, I need to... I need to heal. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to heal. We still have, like, 2 minutes and 57 seconds left of this episode. Because I started the timer late, so we've already gone 25 minutes in this episode, but like that's fine. Ooh, we got an escape rope. Thank you, mate. It's weird, I didn't have to use any of my potions going into this fight. I was a little worried I was gonna have to use a lot of them, but I didn't use any of them. My encounter for Route 3 is a hop in. Okay. I can catch that. There we go. Gotta hop in. Alright. Oh yeah, damn it. I'm so sm it doesn't matter. Really it doesn't matter if I if I nickname them or not. I'm going to save that for the moment in time. I'm not going to be uh, wonder trading that just yet because I'd like to get to where. Uh... I'd like to get to the uh, the nurse lady before I end up uh, ending off this episode because I think that's where I finished off episode three of my trial run. So right now we are sort of. Oh, there you are. Hello there, little niece. Do I know you? It's me, your Uncle Merlin. Uh, I haven't seen you in years. Uh, since I haven't seen you since you were born. That uh, must uh, be why you don't recognize me. Anyways, I just wanted to find you and wish you luck on your journey. I saw your brother go through it uh, this way, uh, so you better re you better be quick if you want to catch up to him and beat him. You don't want to lose it. Uh, you don't want to be like me and lose your contest. I'll never forgive uh, that battle. I'll never forget that battle where uh, I had with your dad for the crown. Anyways. So the next gym is in Green City, so I'd head there. It's just a little bit further out the way, just past the widow, uh, widow's cave. Oh, and I don't think I for, don't think I forgot your birthday either. I knew you'd be starting your journey, so I got you this rare Pokemon, Cyndaquil. So I will be nicknaming this Cyndaquil because I forgot to nickname the. Uh, Uh, the hop here, but that's okay. You'll know you're something about this, Cyndaquil. It seems to be very... Uh, you seem... Uh, you see some very strange Pokemon have been showing up here in the Astro region. We believe that they are Pokemon from different periods of time that have been pulled into our world. I believe people are calling them tempor uh, Temporal Pokemon. We have no idea how they got here, so until we find out, uh, we need to find uh, and look after them. That's why I believe that Cyndaquil be, uh, I can entrust that Cyndaquil to you. Yeah, man. If you want to find out about Temporal Pokemon, I think Professor, uh, I think there's a professor in Imperial City that looks into them and can help you out with that. Anyways. I should be off. I'm going to go see and find your sister. Good luck. And be careful out there. There's this vicious organization called Team Knight uh, that roam around the region. I'm not sure what they're up to, but they can't be good. So just try and avoid them if you can. Okay then, goodbye. Joanne, have fun. Huh? I don't know about this Team Knight either, but... They can't be good. Oh, 
other than the fact they're the evil team of this game, so... Of course they're not good. But that's okay, we'll get... Uh, we'll get to Team Knight later on. Uh, another Geodude coming in. Uh, let's go to Growlithe. So we can't switch into the bottom two Pokemon of our team right now because they are not actual Pokemon that we should be using because they are not part of our team. So, I gotta remember that. They are not ours. Right now, I do not need to uh, worry about the bottom two members of my team. We will be wonder trading them away very, very soon, but like, for the moment in time, we're just gonna try and get to uh, Uh, we're just going to try and get to uh, the entrance to the Widow's Cave. I'm going to put Meowth up front. Get this item here. Super Potion. Nice. Thank you very much, game. Run away from the Gee Goat. As much as I want the Gee Goat, I cannot have the Gee Goat. Battle you, and then we'll be uh, ending off this episode here by talking to the nurse. No, I say ending off. Ending off the action part of this video. By talking to the nurse. Yeah, ending off the action part of this video by talking to the nurse. Oh dear. Um, he bided, it, didn't he? Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. He didn't do that much damage to me. Um, I'm fine. Good work going into Yamega, because Yamega is the, is the beefy, bulky one of the team. Alright, so that's his first Pokemon down. What's his next Pokemon? It's Judo. I don't really have anything for that. I'm going to go with Meowth. And go for the Fake Out. Do nice damage. Got the flinch. Good. Bite. Nice. Bite does decent damage to me, but that's fine. Good work. And final Pokemon is a Rock Roth. Uh, I'm gonna go to Rowlet. I'm gonna go to Rowlet. And go for the Hidden Power. I can live a bite. And a bite will kill you. Nice. All right, good place. I'm a trainee nurse. Um, Widow's Peak is a dangerous place, so I've set up a station here to help trainers uh, who come out this way. Let me heal your Pokemon. Thank you. All right. So that's where I'm going to end off the action part of this video. Uh, we're going to run back to town. And we're going to do some window trades. And then we're going to end off today's episode there. So that is all the action parts of this video. And we will now see what we can get for these two uh, Pokemon that we have. Since the name ray is here, I can basically go and uh, rename this Hoppip. 
Can't do that always if I forget to nickname a Pokemon, but can do it now. So that's good. All right, let's let's go back to the Pokemon Center. I would like to do a Wonder Trade. So first off, we got this Hoppip. We got a Blossom. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Thank you, Laura. I am definitely in for a Blossom. I am definitely in for Black Sail. All right. And finally for Wonder Joe v. Uh, Cyndaquil. We get... A Pyro from Linda. Thank you, Linda. All right, let's take a look at our Pokemon. So first off, we got a Blossom from Laura. Likes to run, jolly nature, chlorophyll for the ability, Mega Drain, Sweet Scent, Stun Spore, and Sunny Day. Then we got a Pyro from Linda. Uh, this is a Brave Nature, Unnerve, uh, Leah, Ember, Workup, and Headbutt on the new set. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a full team of six. That's awesome. And we're going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Join us next time when we'll continue our Pokemon Royal Wonderlock. Till then, me and the little Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Chair, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.